Hey beauties, good afternoon to you beautiful people. So beautiful people, I was actually reading something online not too long ago. Um, I'm not, I'm, I, I should have looked to quote it ber verbatim because you know, one of the things that we don't want to do is spread any sort of false fake news or misinformation, but we do have the, uh, we do have that sort of freedom to paraphrase as so long as we're paraphrasing and condensing the information to the correctness of what the original message has intended for it to be. So in other words, you know, I somebody's talking about cats and when I'm relaying the message, I'm talking about dogs. So we negate and we come against, you know, a sort of a Chinese telephone saga. So it's it basically stating that the Prime Minister to use powers under the Disaster Risk Management Act. And when I opened the article, I think it was either the Glean or Star or Observer, but one of the newspaper um, online, it basically was saying the Prime Minister would, would allow the police personnel to be out more, you know, in terms of quantity and that they would give quality service as it relates to preventing people from looting and so on. Um, I don't have a problem with that because I am a I'm I'm a law abiding citizen. I try to be. And the looting or the shooting, whatever it is that may take place, I know people like one of the things that has one of the sad realities, beautiful people, it has nothing to do with um politics, but lawlessness among our people. Have you ever, for example, you will see a truck with chickens and a truck turns over? And you wonder where all of them people come from. They come like when cockroach senses something where them love is out there. And then call them auntie and them uncle. And you see one word. One word of the cockroaches coming out. I'm not calling people that, please. I'm, I'm literally talking about cockroaches it's, itself. And you say, what the heck is going on here? Or some people, depending on where they have a sewer. When they lift it up. When they lift up that thing. Oh my God, the number of cockroaches. And I'm saying that as it relates to um, people, you know, they have no shame. They don't, they don't believe that what they're doing is illegal. It is, is it their chickens? No. And they, one time I saw a lady with the two live chicken, them up, all of the chicken up, pick, 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 I go so with, it, with its arms. And she run into the two chicken, them all about the place. And I'm saying to myself, what if it were her, was it her, what, what if it were her? the trucking um, business or the chickens were hers and people and it turned over and people stole them and it messed up her profit and totally derailed her business how would she feel if it were a man how would he feel you see we don't think about our own actions we don't think about what if it were me because we don't care we have a sort of a narcissistic mentality as long as i'm okay to heck with everybody else. Some would say to hell with everybody else. And they realize that the hell that you dish out, you get a double hell in your life and in the lives of your children. Because one of the things you need to understand, do not be deceived. God can never be mocked. Whatever a man or a woman sows, that he or she will reap and you reap it in abundance. Please understand that. So I am for, you know, the um, protecting the laws of the land. I am for people being safe. Um, I am for all the right things that would govern or that would be under good governance, but good governance still encompasses freedom, choice. It encompasses that we, a God, we serve a mighty God who created us with volition. He gave us the ability to even choose against him. That if some people, if they want to choose worshiping the devil, they do that. Because he's either God or the devil. I don't care if it's a cow or a rat or a goat or a plate. It is, once it is not God, it's the devil. And I'm, and I'm saying that in the, in the sense that I'm, I'm going to assume that it is how they... Because I know sometimes these newspaper companies, they, they like to write articles for sensationalism. So they will coin it in such a way that will give an air, give a feel as though a sort of a dictatorial governance is happening in our country and uh, as though they have resurrected the infamous, infamous Adolf Hitler. Note my word, infamous 
<laughs> I, I never use the word notable. So it gives that impression when we see it as though, oh, although you're saying you want the police officers to be out there to prevent looting and whatever other misconducts and infractions, it still gives up, it creates a feeling of fear, even for people who are law abiding, like they have to be, okay, I know I'm following the laws of the land. Why am I thinking about it even more? That is what is happening. It is as though, you, I don't know for people who remember back in the day when they were much younger and because of the stigma that they created around HIV AIDS, you know, before they turned to AIDS, HIV and even AIDS, just we link, Jamaicans consider both the same. They figure once you have HIV, uh, you basically have AIDS. You know, yes, one metamorphosizes into the next. So the HIV, you know, if it goes untreated and not, you know, properly taken care of, then it metamorphosizes and goes into the full-blown AIDS. We do understand that, but follow what I'm saying to you now. So because of how that stigma used to be placed on it, you, you, you didn't, if you ever heard of somebody having HIV or AIDS, let me tell you, they couldn't even talk to you. They couldn't speak to you. You become fearful that you'll just catch it by talking to them. If you hear that you have to go and do an HIV AIDS test, you start to fret even if you're a virgin. You're saying that is the fear that was kind of subliminally and overtly put on us back in the day. It may be not so prevalent, even though nowadays, you know, even just thinking about the word, the memory of it, I still shudder. Similarly, when we read articles, you know, to exert power, whatever it says, I'm just using, but I remember seeing the word power though, that was there to use power, to exert power, same thing. It will give law bad citizens. It's almost like you have to, you're being, you know, when you have ADHD or you're, you're, or you're this extra clean, you're, you know, you're, if you see any little dust, you're, you, or there's no dust, but you just feel that I need to clean it because the dust is going to appear. So you're trying to do a prevention from the place, place getting dusty. You don't want to drive fear into the people, make them feel uncomfortable. I'm talking about for the law abiding citizens. It is as though once some sort of a disaster is in, um, impending or on our shores, you know, hopefully it will not, it will pass over. We will not be affected. I pray that we will not be affected as a people. Jamaica can't even take a little raindrop more right now. We feel like we have to shudder. We have to be shaking. We have to be shaking for this um, inclement weather, in this inclement weather here. We have to be shaking as it relates to, oh, Lord of mercy, I want, I know that I'm a law abiding citizen. I have to ensure that no police stops me. I have to ensure. Nobody wants to live like that. So our freedom is being taken away, snatched away from us first, subliminally, silently, and then overtly. Jamaicans don't want to live like that. We do have freedom. I'm not saying that you don't have police personnel on the road. As a matter of fact, that should not even be mentioned unless it was a chronic issue or a chronic situation. As I said, one of the problems I do have with people is that when you have disasters and they realize that they can do their maladies, you know, and create some upheaval, they come with their little antics, a truck turnover with chickens, they run and they steal, you know, they break into whatever it is, if a place is being burned down or whatever it may be. I do understand that, but how often do we have that? How frequent do we see this? God has been so good that we have been spared many of these natural disasters. You know, outside of that, Jamaica would have been sunk, and would have sink. So I'm saying, government, that you have to be careful of the message that you're promulgating People don't want to feel like you're taking away their freedom. We feel controlled. This is a democratic society. This is a democratic country. We do have choice. And I'm not saying for anybody to live lawless. I, I prefaced my thing to say I'm against lawlessness. But at the same time, you know, for those who decide to be lawless, they have to be prepared to pay the consequences. But we don't need to be putting on sort of a gag. Uh, you know, and muzzle and shut people down. Okay, you know, to use... Po I, mm -mm. So I, I'm going to assume that they, mis understood, uh, they misunderstood what it is that you meant, government officials. Guys, follow me on TikTok. Subscribe to my YouTube channel.